1872. Brilliant Bond jersey, let's get us the first ever England jersey. Wow. Looks a bit itchy. From the first international It's like game. a sweatshirt, doesn't it? Uh, it's a jumper. It's yeah. a jersey, jersey yeah. wool. Yeah. If, you look, a, if you look on the back as well, there's a little flag in purple and sort of pink. <laughs> 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 Maybe not. But, uh, <laughs> so, an England team got to Scotland basically, 1872, uh, for a game on St Andrew's Day in Glasgow. So that's the 30th of November, if you know your Saints. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it's not going to be warm, is it? So, <laughs> so the, I think the idea originally, so the first international games, you wore your own club shirt or oh. jersey. Yeah. So yeah. every club you played, you turn up in your own club shirt. Unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, the only football team in Scotland, they had one football team. They had lots of rugby teams, but only yeah. one had a football team. And that was a team called Queen's Park. And they all just played in dark blue. Right. So England were going to look like yeah, variation, and they play one team yeah. in Dabu. Oh, this is daft. So what we're going to do, lads? And the only thing they had in common, the jersey had in common, was a cricket jumper. Oh wow! Yeah, right, okay. So we think that's why, that's why they're right playing wide. Yeah. So for the next international, Scotland gets more clubs. So when you play Scotland again, yeah. they go, they go off the dark, they're all right. dark blue. They go back to playing their club sort of things. England, the next five or six years, England playing all different colours, the club colours, and it's only when sort of passing invented and now you need to really know it is important <laughs> the ball yeah. so then they're just basically running straight yeah, line yeah, up yeah. down the pitch yeah. so it's really right <laughs> a bit like rugby so then the event passing in something right this is we need to identify who our teammates are really so that we England go back to the white one that we've started uh, with uh, which brilliant. is probably just a fluke yeah no sense thinking yeah fancy that <laughs> Scunthorpe versus Derby, though, 2009. They must have been in the uh, championship then. Oh, I had these figures. I had them. What superstars? I can't remember what they're called. I've got Des Walker, though, definitely, and John Barnes. I think they have a Chris Waddle. I had all these as well. The Corinthians. I think I had that collector's yearbook at one point.
Rules Remade Trophy. The World Cup England won in 66. I've always wanted to get my hands on that. Now just watch this for a minute. Back in the tip. The World Cup. Wow. I borrowed it from the museum display. It's Sir Jeff Hurst, the only man to have ever scored a hat-trick in a World Cup final. Not even Messi, Pelé or Maradona have done that. He did it for England in 1966. Hi Gary, how are you doing? Alright Sir Jeff. Nice keeper's glove, love them. Like those? I think, you, I'm not sure Bobby will like you messing around with it. You better take that back to the museum as soon as possible. I just wanted to hold it. Anyway. Let me just bring back a few moments for you. In the United States, the quarterfinals of the World Cup, your first one. Top, top, any top, 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 top,
we know how we like the team work, right?2009, yeah, for 2010.
Okay.